And again, it's Kara Williams of Inner Alchemy Astrology. I wanted to go over a little bit about shielding. Now, a lot of people, they don't really feel like shielding would work, but it works on the energetic level. You, the thing I most often hear when I mention shielding to people is they don't know how to visualize it. And as I mentioned in my video about grounding, it doesn't matter if you can't perfectly visualize it or if you can't visualize it at all. This is a skill you can learn over time with practice. You can work it like a muscle and strengthen it. But even if you just say shields activated, you know, like you can even say it like you're in Star Trek. Just picture shield, picture a circle, picture a bubble and just know you are protected. Things work on subtler levels and when you're work doing energy work, you are working with the level above the physical. So it doesn't really matter if you do, if you just set an intention. It's all about intention. With magic, with energy work, it's about the kind of intention you set. And words are magic as well, and words are intentional. So, shield. And when might you want to shield? If you're a sensitive person, if you are prone to psychic experiences, if you're doing astral journeying, like inner child work, um, past life regression, Akashic records, traveling, anything like that where you are consciously putting yourself into a trance state, you might want to shield yourself. If you've experienced trauma and you're feeling kind of fragile, um, if you're someone who is sensitive to things like ghosts or negative entities, if you feel like there's something around you and you feel unsafe, those are the times that you can shield. Honestly, I don't think ultimately that it is a necessary action to take once you reach a certain stage of practice, but if you're feeling at all unsafe, if you're feeling at all insecure, even just in your physical life, not your metaphysical life, um, if you're feeling like you're going into a situation where there's a crowd and you're an empath, you're sensitive, you can put a shield up. I found it extremely helpful when I went through a spiritual awakening experience and I was feeling um, very sensitive to everything around me. I was feeling overstimulated and overwhelmed. So it helped me a lot to set up a shield before I left the house. Um, there were times when I didn't feel safe in my own house or like that people would come to my house that I didn't want to. Just apart from taking the physical precautions that we would take, like locking our doors and things like that, um, I found it helpful to set put a shield around the whole house or around my body. So when you're doing metaphysical work, when you are feeling somehow vulnerable or overstimulated, it can be very useful to shield. And like I said, um, just the saying the word, shield, putting saying the word with the intention that you are shielded and surrounded with light and protection. You can also shield a building. Like if you're going to work, if you're going to if you're going to sleep, I've started doing it before I go to sleep because I have been having some nightmares. You know, I've I heard a lot of people are having vivid dreams during this pandemic, or it can be useful to just shield and set the intention that you're going to have a peaceful experience. So I find it extremely helpful. And you can also picture a shining bubble of light or an egg. You can picture that you're in an egg of light. You can picture that you are surrounded with a giant bubble. I've heard you can picture that you're in a circle of roses. You can get creative, whatever makes you feel safe. You could imagine that you have a huge tangle of barbed wire or a fence around you. Whatever makes you feel good. Some people don't like the idea of light. It sounds too woo-woo and that's fine, but light is really just energy. It's the Satchitananda, the existence consciousness, bliss, the essential elemental, the essential energy force that makes up the universe and its consciousness. So there are other ways you can shield, you can do mantras. I personally do a mantra, but it should be with a tradition that you're familiar with or that you're drawn to, you know, like with a god or goddess that you know, you can look up mantras and choose one. It can help you feel a little bit more under the protection, perhaps, of that deity. Now, I used to practice Tantra and the 
the main god of Tantra is Shiva. I have a few Shiva things around here and on my altar. So I use a Shiva mantra. He's kind of fearsome as well and badass, so, you know, seems appropriate. Anyway, um, I hope that helps and good luck out there.